What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. Today I wanna to talk about Service Writers Commission. Now it's ready and you can use it. Um, the way it works, basically, you get to set the commissions for uh, parts, tires, and labor. Why is that important more than giving commission on the whole, like on the total invoice, because there's fees and you don't wanna give the your your, uh, your service writer commission on the fee, you'll be losing money. So you, you can only give them like, uh, like on labor or parts or tires or all three. Um, the way it works is when when you when uh, when I'm signed in under let's say right there service mark service right. If I create the estimate and that becomes an invoice, it's my it, this is mine. And if the other service writer created it, it's it's there. So remember that. As of right now, we cannot ch change the service writer, but we'll look into that as we. Um, uh, like dig into that more but as of right now whoever creates the estimate it's under his name or her name all right so let's see how this works so we're going to go to um go to your employees right here and if you want to give uh, marks uh, parts commission just right there type in there how much you want to give in percentage on parts tires and labor once that uh, done, like I said, every it's going to be automatic, so you don't have to do anything. But if we go to our reports and then more daily, more details, I'm sorry. And then right there, you can see service writers, commissions, click on that. And then it's going to show all of them. You can like go back and forth in the daily or you can set the custom date, which date, like which dates you want to say January. And let's say I just want to see Mark. And then it's going to show all the Mark's commission. And like right there, total commission, $138. And it's gonna break it down, like this is the invoice total, this is the service writer name, this is the invoice uh, invoice total, and this is the parts, tires, and labor commission, and the total commission. Um, it's not, if uh, once you set it up, basically, once you set it up, it's gonna be, uh, um, it's gonna be, uh, what is that name? It's gonna be like from now on. Like if you already have an estimate, um, it's not gonna give him a commission on the current estimate. It's gonna be for the future estimates and invoices, not the current ones. So once you set up, be careful about that. Um, other than that, I just wanna talk about one thing before I go, which is right here. Like something we added right here under maintenance schedule. If you click on it, Look how beautiful is that? It's gonna tell you, well, let's make sure we add the mileage, let's say under 50,000, make sure you add the mileage always. But if I go to maintenance schedule, it's gonna search all the maintenance schedule that's done for this car, and if it's red, that means it's already service, like it needs to be done again, based on the mileage or based on, uh, or based on the date. So if I click on that, to know like what well, why is it red for basically if i click on it it's going to tell me well every 20000 mile or 3 months um uh, if i click on that it's going to tell me every 40000 mile or for or 5 years as it goes all right so there's obviously there's a lot of debate on which one is the best like how fast you should you do the the transmission fluid when well, the way we did it is if you want your car to be running perfectly at all time and prevent any uh breakdown follow uh, the VIP, not the OEM. Uh, the OEM don't care. Now the OEM tells you do all change every 20,000 mile and we've already tested it. And, uh, go, go ask the pro who rebuilds the engines and he'll tell you, yeah, definitely do it at 20,000 miles so I can rebuild your engines. <laughs> they don't care, man. They just want to sell cars. So the best OEM, the be I believe the best schedule maintenance is the mechanic. Why? Because the mechanic, he knows better. He's the doctor of the car. He knows better as long as he's honest. Don't get me wrong. Anyway, uh, that's it for today. Until next time, thanks for watching.